I like the way we battled back. Uh, you know, we're down two nothing. I mean, you know, we were doing some things well, and but we, but we weren't strong enough and heavy enough on pucks, and and needed a little bit more effort. And um, we got down two nothing early in the second. I like the way we bounced back. And I thought one of the things I talked about our team earlier was that I think we've shown some pretty good resolve this year in finding a way to getting it done. And and you know, they did in the second period. Our guys, uh, my brother, guy to my left here, um, you know, bounced back, and you know, we got three goals. And I thought momentum was going back on our on our way. And, and then we made a bad play, bad read, and you know it, we gave up a goal 3-3. And then to tie it in the third period, you know I thought I liked the way we played and the way we came out. I, I thought we had pucks down low, got pucks below their goal. Uh, their defenseman got pucks in net, and um, it was I, I was I, I was. It, I was pleased with the effort uh, in that second half of the, of the game, and particularly in that third period. And then we, you know, we, we made a, a soft play, I thought, on on their, on their fourth goal. And then it was obviously um, we continued to come and battle, and then you know to get the tying goal, and then almost get a chance to win it in overtime there when uh, Adam Lee went in. I uh, was pleased with with that effort. Things we have to show up for tomorrow. Um, this time of the year, I said to the guys, every point's a big point in your own building. You want two points. There's no doubt. Uh, we got one. Um, we move into a tie now with uh, UNH and. Um, you know, this thing is coming down the wire. It's one more point, and we're two points behind second now, and it's all, you know, bunched up there, but it's it's a big point, and, and we'll try and come back here tomorrow night and get two. Question for Brady. Brady, Coach Hart alluded to this, but it seems early on that you're off, that it was tough for the, you guys to get much off and for you to get punched deep, and then mid-second period, it seems that you guys had a much easier chance, time of getting sustained pressure in the offensive zone, uh, getting good chances. Did anything change for you guys offensively, or did did you pick, did you, did you settle down, or what happened that played you get more off? Um, I feel like we just needed to get into a rhythm, and kind of at the beginning of the game, we got to get our feet under us. And uh, I feel like in the second, we uh, got our feet under us, uh, got into a good rhythm, and got some offensive opportunities as well. Great. You just about the play Mike made. You said you got that game. Um, it was nice. Uh, I had an opportunity earlier in, in the game and I missed the net, so I was lucky I got another opportunity. I was just going uh, to try to shoot as hard as I could, so I was uh, lucky enough to get a good pass from Spatula. Um, he's always a good playmaker, so I got the opportunity and tried to make the most of it. Braden, your production this year has, has been tremendous compared to the last three. Um, what's developed in your game? How have you improved in your time here? Um, I feel like uh, just trying to be more consistent with my play. Um, well, uh, the last three games, I, I felt like a mediocre player, and I, and I was thinking about it all this week, well, leading up to this weekend. I wanted to try to shore up my uh, my game, defensive zone, offensive zone, and uh, watching the Canadian Olympic team today really uh, boosted me as well. So um, yeah, I just I was ready to play. I had some fun out there, and it's been good. Um, well, yeah, but uh, at the same time, um, you know, uh, anytime you get an opportunity, you, you want to try to make the most of it, and uh, I kind of hesitated, so I put it in my head that the next time I got an opportunity, I was just going to go with my gut instinct, and uh, so I made a great pass. And, on the uh, on the Stevens goal, you kind of came in hard from the uh, right wall. What did you get a shot off, or did you just kind of lose the puck and you picked it up? Uh, I was just trying to take it in the net hard and try to create a scrum. And uh, so I, yeah, I just took it to the net hard. And I told uh, our line was kind of talking about it, just go to the net hard, and everyone just converge in the net. And uh, that's what we did. And Stevens put it home for us. So. Uh, you guys hold to seven shots in the second, three of them are down two of your best defensemen. Uh, this is one of the better defensive efforts you've had. Yeah, no, I, I like the way we uh, uh, played defensively. I thought that uh, the two guys had uh, played a few more minutes. Um, thanks, Brian. Jared and, and, and Jake Shecker did a good job back there, and, uh, and they got confidence as the game went along. And, uh, you know, I, I, I like limiting team shots. And, you know, you guys have heard me before about shots. It's, it's more for me limiting the quality shots. And I thought we did do a good job limiting the quality shots. We still have to shore some areas up in our own zone. They're, you know, they're, they're, a, they're a team that comes at you. Um, 
uh, on a floor check that it's a two two man floor check and they put pressure on you and um, you know they're detailed in their system so um, you know we've worked on a few things this this past week just to try and, and get pucks out of our own zone a little bit quicker but uh, yeah it was uh, it was good to limit the shots and um, and their scoring opportunities but they they're scoring chances but they still had some quality ones in there. Uh, you know they'll be reevaluated uh, each and every every day, and uh, you know we'll make a decision tomorrow on on uh, on Josh, um, Matt Benning, and, and Dalen, and hopefully not tomorrow, the next game, but um, we're 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 we we'll get close. But you've talked about it a lot, but Matula again, you know, taking a lot of face, key face last week in the defensive zone, and then you know, the poise he showed on that goal to kind of wait for the trailer to come in. What? What, is, what makes him have such poise for a freshman? Yeah, he, well, he's an offensive player. He's a smart player, and um, he's been battling the flu. And, and today his energy, uh, the, the tank wasn't f full. Um, and, you know, they're one of the, I forget what goal, their second goal, or he, you know, there was a play in the offensive zone, and he, he, he mishandled it, and, and then uh, they came back down, and, and they actually scored, and uh, he couldn't get back, and it's, you know, just, you know, you battle through, and the tank was, was not on full, and, uh, but that's the type of kid he is, and then he goes out and makes a great play to, you know, to, to set up the winning goal, and he just battles, he's hard on pucks, he's an ultra, ultra competitor, so when you put, you know, ultra competitor, skilled, and determined, you know, all one package, you, you get, you know, you get a lot of production, and, and that's what makes for two ways, he's a joy the coach and he's a hard working kid. Yeah, he's an offensive defenseman and he, you know, he, he likes to jump in that offense. He likes to get pucks to the net and um, he's the one guy for us that, you know, can get a, a you know, can get pucks net really well. He's, he's got a good shot, and I guess Kevin deflected one of them. Um, but, you know, Sauce, he had, he had two or three other real good looks there today in the high slot area. So, um, you, you know, when you're when you're short a little bit of uh, from the back end and then two guys were on this, you know, playing, it's nice when he steps up, and I thought he stepped up really well. Coach, what have you seen from Braden this year? That Maturity. He hasn't been there in the past. Maturity. Uh, he's a real good saw. I wasn't here my, his freshman year. I watched him from the stands. Um, he had a good second half that year. And my first year coaching, his sophomore year, you know, he he, he demonstrated and showed a lot of glimpses of, of uh, being a good player. Um, and then, you know, this past year, I don't want to go through his junior, but this past year, you know, he, the maturity level that he's taken this game, the seriousness that he's taken, he's acted and conduct himself like a professional. Um, and, you know, we've talked about it, but he deserves all the credit, and he did it from the time I season him last year till coming back in, in the fall, and he's been consistent as anyone in the last, um, this past year. I mean, you know, he talks about being mediocre the last two or three games. He was playing well, just maybe wasn't getting, you know, the opportunities around the net of creating like he likes to and, and wants to because, you know, that's what we need him to do for success. But he still plays in all situations. But, yeah, it's maturity, and uh, he's been a great leader for us this year. Really good in that locker room. Well, it's still three games, right? We got one tomorrow, and then two more, uh, and two more against BU. And um, um, you know, we're all sc scrapping and scraping for those same points. You know, Maine's a hell of a team. They're well coached. I know those two gentlemen, and you know, they've been in the National Hockey League at the, at the highest level for a long period of time. I have a lot of respect for them. So they got their team playing hard. You know, UNH and, and you know Low and, and you know. Province, we're all scraping for points, and and so so aren't we. And uh, um, you know, I, I like our mentality, our approach going into uh, the week of practice. Our preparation has been very good, and um, you know, we're going to continue clawing and scrapping. And we we know, you know, the situation in front of us. We can, like all the other teams, we can all can control our own destiny, and just got to make it happen on the ice. And and that's what we're hoping to do. You know, come back here tomorrow night, and the goal is to get two points, and and then we'll worry about the next two games uh, on Monday.